Hello, my fellows. Your boy Scrubtella. Welcome back to Slay the Princess, featuring my friend Aru. We've made it into part three of the Razor, which has been uh, fucking great. And so, uh, before we start, if you enjoy what I do, just uh, you know, subscribe, like, leave a comment if you will or you can. And uh, yeah, titles aside, let's jump right into it. Mutually assured destruction. Don't lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll <laughs> <laughs> She just said, fuck you, narrator. <laughs> Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. Aru learning what the joy of mask is of learning? Is already in our hand. Pretty sure Aru already knows. Learning? Throw it out the window. That's cute. Over my dead body. That won't be very hard. You've died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. <laughs> Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? I'm, I'm still oh, saying <laughs> you are Preach voice it. of the Preach smitten. It. <laughs> <laughs> He is so right. You are so right. I'm sure I can think of a better way to die. <laughs> yeah, they're all the same, really. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. The only thing we're going to manifest is finally ending up on top. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things, <laughs> and we'll stick to doing them. I don't have to click anything when narrator's talking. Cheetah just says, fuck you, sit down. <laughs> yeah, leave it to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. Your typical Souls-like player. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. <laughs> Every time I hear Smitten talk, I'm just thinking it's I'm just thinking it in Aru's voice. <laughs> Fine by me. You walk to the door our star -crossed and enter the lover. stairs. Only <laughs> slide. We know. Fine. I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Don't care. Just want to win. <laughs> Fine. You make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. She almost seems concerned about it. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? You ready for her surprise? Yeah, I think. <laughs> the confusion. I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it, though. Just you wait. And not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. Hmm, you're going to say what she does. Oh, oh. D do you want me to talk now? Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Narrator's so sick of him. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. Then it erupts. 
and becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room. Why do I want to fuck it? Blades. A heart beats. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I want to fuck it? I have one question. Would you, Aru? Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Well, are you? No, but I'll no. never be ready if I don't take, take my step now. <laughs> Aru's official response would, I know, right? <laughs> Smash, next question. <laughs> I don't know if you get to have another question. Holy shit. Yep, I think Hero said I'll have another question. Absolutely divine. <laughs> the fucking clapping from a distance from Aru. <laughs> Fake, why? Why? Do you have a problem, Fake? Is there an issue? <laughs> why are you throwing stuff at me? Yes. Behold the perfect woman. <laughs> right you are. <laughs> Do you think we can throw her out? Nerd, why did you bonk me? What's Con wrong? Contrarian! That looked painful. How is she still alive? Heart's still beating, that's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. She doesn't even have a I shouldn't scissor that. However, I think this creature's about to put scissor a whole new meaning. <laughs> and I am gonna be the perfect guinea pig to test that meaning. <laughs> Thank you for the stretch. This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. We screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. So by the way, Aru, this was the part where Sally and Seuss jumped in in middle of the night while I was streaming this game last time. This part right here. So imagine a Sally and a Seuss showing up, also having a funny side conversation while all this is going down. <laughs> I'll give you a second. Oh uh, god, no, please don't. <laughs> okay, we empty our mind. What just happened? It's so quiet. Everything's so different now, too. Oh. Oh. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Oh. You do not act, and yet through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes as you approach, but as her blow finishes its arc, you're already somewhere else. You're incredible. Your weapons clash again and again. You and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There's only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound, the faster the momentum volleys between you. An endless building crescendo, and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of volition, and hers strikes too. Both strikes are lethal. Neither of you will survive, but neither of you fear what's to come. This is a good ending.
You do not get to see each other die. Something has taken her away, and it's left something else in her place. So... Any questions? Huh? <laughs> so you saw what happened, right? Yeah. What I want you to I think I want you to explain to me what what you saw happen. Um we blocked out the voices. Mm hmm And that brought us back to chapter one's dungeon. Yep. We blocked out the narrator, and then that just removed everything, because he's supposed to be the one explaining what the scenery is. Yep. And then we battled the princess. Yep. And we killed each other, but I didn't see how she killed us, because it didn't show it, but we did stab her heart. Yep. And now there's a mirror. Did you see what happened to the princess, though, after you stabbed her heart? Yeah, yeah. Like, the hands came, on, came up to her and, like, pulled her inside itself into, like, a fucking black hole. Okay, so you did see that. Okay, 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 okay. That That's what I was asking to see if you saw. <laughs> I'm going to let you stew on that a little bit, because I'm going to go pee. But also, I'm going to let you share with chat what your current theories are and what's going on. I'll be our beat. I'm going to be real, chat. My, uh, my current theory? I got fucking nothing. Okay, I'm back. Alright, chat and I have had a very deep discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've come to the conclusion. Mm hmm. Dog, I got nothing. <laughs> okay, so welcome to the portion that I'm going to call the part of, like, this game known as the Theory Craft section. This is going to be the section where at the end of an arc, here's where we'll kind of, like, you know, share plausible ideas of what we think is going on. I think she won't accept herself dying until she's found, I guess, like her true love. That's 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 a theory. That is that is a theory. Come to the conclusion that Aru is horny. Okay. That's just Aru. <laughs> I know that's not just. <laughs> well, it depended on the character. Now, when... technically, yes, I woke up this way today, guys. You're gonna have to deal with it. All right, we're gonna approach the mirror. Yeah, approach the mirror. So, one thing I'm actually surprised you didn't do was check on what this mirror was the first time we did it. The first time it appeared. Yeah, because I just wanted to kill her. You just you completely just ignored the existence of this mirror. Which is funny. I I I channeled Doom Slayer the minute that she um fucking she stabbed killed you. us last time and I was like and I was like, no, I'm killing this bitch. And then she got she had the fucking blade arms and all of a sudden you went from I'm killing this bitch like, oh fuck, this is hot. <laughs> no, she had the blade leg. Oh right, the blade leg. Her. Yeah, true, and true, I was true, like, true. And then I stopped and I was like, wait, no, guys, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold on, on, wait. Let's stop. We can talk this out. She's hot. <laughs> right, 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 right. And right. then the blade arms things happen next, and you just fucking... <laughs> You're like, something I'm new just romantic. awoken. I'm not feeling... No, I'm not feeling romantic. <laughs> I'm feeling the exact opposite of that. I'm feeling, like, nothing but lust towards this woman. I woke up today with nothing but lust in my head, okay? So just chill. I got I gotta yeah, deal yeah, with yeah. it. I well, will I will cope and I how I'm gonna cope <laughs> through this woman. I feel like this uh this this woman found cope through you. <laughs> 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 All 
All right, She's well, my cope dealer. Oh, yeah. We finally get to see what our reflection is. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach towards the glass. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. And it answers nothing. <laughs> You're alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. You're at the cabin. Huh? <laughs> Do you do you by the end of the game actually get your answers? Yes. You get so many answers. Like so <laughs> many questions that will go in throughout this entire adventure will be answered. I need to know what the fuck is going on. Oh, it's uh it's fucking great. <laughs> Approach her. I... Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Now she has an ASMR voice. She is perfect. Literally perfect. <laughs> completely 10 out of 10. This is peak femininity. Oh, this game is this fucking is peak. Peak femininity. Okay? <laughs> you may not like it. But this is peak femininity. <laughs> I wish I was a portion as good as this woman. <laughs> Welcome to what will answer some of your questions. We, we just passed the portion that was a theory craft where we get to like, you know, see what you think could be it. And now you can actually get some of your questions answered. Scroll down. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. What, what are you? I want to click everything. I want to hear her voice. All right. Oh my God, she I is relaxing. Here. Lights in an empty city. What are you? <laughs> I'm literally gonna sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um. Second one. What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> I feel all warm and soft inside. <laughs> I don't know if this will make it to like the Slay the Princess dev, but um, one, uh. this is the perfect character. Um, <laughs> and I want them to know that this is the perfect character. Like this is the perfect character. And also whoever voiced this um, this character, whatever, wh whoever she is who voiced this character. I will tell you, I'd say wait until we finish the game to see any dev videos or stuff like that. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not okay. gonna look at dev videos. I'm just yeah. saying. I this is my message to the dev. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. this is the perfect character. Holy shit! And her voice is like the most angelic, perfect 
flexible voice I've ever <laughs> fucking heard in my entire life. This, this character alone, I can't say the whole game yet until I get answers, but this character mm -hmm. alone, I can already say, it's based like... on the writing of it, mm -hmm. is literally one of the best characters I've ever seen in any written piece of media. You know what's funny? There's an other character you could have gotten in this arc that I'm 50-50 on whether or not you might have liked a little more. What do you mean? That that's all I guess that's all I'm gonna say. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the gift of a fragile vessel. Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. So every time they die, those hands are the other of themselves pulling it in to then make it a part of it, of the main personality. The best way to say is she is a fraction of a whole. Yeah, yeah, and they're pulling her in, and then she's about to be... Like, if we were to turn this on its head to the hero... Mm -hmm. This would be like Voice of the Cheated or something being pulled in... To the main... I don't want to say hive mind, but the main, like, identity of the, the um, character. And then by the next... Um, the next chapter... Voice of the Cheated is now in our head. So, like, for example, in the next chapter of whatever she'll be in, mm -hmm. that one, that version will be there, like, as a part of her identity. Maybe in her head or maybe controlling the, her thoughts or something. The parts of the fractions we will run into will be the only one, will be existent only to the chapters that we experienced at that time. Which I know sounds real confusing, but you'll you'll figure it out after at asking a few no, more questions. No, I, I yeah. get that. I get that. <laughs> I get that. Like the chapters themselves, like they'll, it'll like a single um, storyline will have multiple chapters, but then whenever you start a new storyline, it's not going to have the stuff from the other chapters. Because you're you're starting a new storyline. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we It's like being a re This is a visual representation of like This is happening to this character So whenever Even if the game doesn't show us what happens next In this storyline When she next like Shows up or whatever in this storyline Maybe whether that's Created or not created Or only implied This is now a part of whatever next iteration Of the princess will be in this storyline You're getting closer. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I was losing it. <laughs> well, look, you can ask more questions. They're gonna come back to you in riddles, but you know. <laughs> is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Hmm? <laughs> Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. <laughs> the space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. <laughs> Nothing comes here but us. You right? <laughs> Just give me a sec. <laughs> uh, are you what sent me to slay the princess? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. 
I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Mm. <laughs> Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Um, are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. Were you always the princess? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Makes you wish you spoke to the princess a bit more before, before you went straight to stabbing, huh? <laughs> Actually, no. No? This will give me, this will give me the meta insight that I will need to connect the dots when we talk to the princess again in a different ah, time. Ah, I see, I see. Instead of immediately talking to her and then being posed with questions so you, you think now i know i now i know the bounds at which this story will reach and then i can use those boundaries to ah, I see. produce the logic that connects each idea together ah all right all right all right all right, all right. uh let her out of there i'm sorry there are some changes that can never be undone there are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. You okay there? I'm so dumb. I'm so d I read unshed as uh, tears that can never be unshed. <laughs> God, fuck. God damn it. These tears can never be unshed. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why you were why you were like giggling to yourself. I was thinking like, oh no, we broke her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be broken. <laughs> I promise that it doesn't hurt. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> unched, 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 un unched. <laughs> Are you quote of the day? These tears can never be unched. <laughs> uh, what happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget. If only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Boop boop. Pushing the squishy. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much. I'm telling you, you're gonna get a lot of answers. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the questions that you had in that earlier uh, suspicion section was to get you mentally prepared for this. The thing is that... Uh... Yes, you're getting more questions out of it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> well, no, the thing is that... Uh... I've been trying to understand the metaphoric message that's been trying to, trying to be sent through this piece. And now I understand it. I don't understand the story completely and like where it's going to go, but I understand the message that they're trying to send now. I am on the right track to what their message is. Okay, I got to ask what you think. It, what, what do you think it is? Well, it's pretty similar to what she was talking about. It's um, basically trying to understand different perspectives because then we will truly be free and not shackled down by the bounds of the limits of our perspective. 
if we try to understand and, br and bring <laughs> together more perspectives of things. Mm, mm, mm. Then we don't feel shackled, but then it's probably also going to go mm. into the idea of it might feel more it might feel more comfortable or more safe ah. to stay in those shackled mm. perspectives because sometimes it can be too much. Ah, uh, I mean, I... <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't, I don't really know. Man, it's so, like, it's so fun watching you play this. <laughs> that's that's what I'm, that's what I'm assuming is, is what's happening. Yeah. How much will I forget? Everything until we meet again. Meaning a lot of this metagaming means nothing in the next part that you go into. No, it means something. For these parts. No, because you can use this meta, the meta understanding of the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in order to further your your um, understanding of what's going on in the in the mm. I wouldn't say actual world but like in the beginning of the story all right, all right. how many more pieces Depends how many questions you want to ask. No, how many more pieces? You're going to need to find four pieces in total. No, like the, the, the second one. Oh. More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. The answer's four. <laughs> when she ends... Her sentences with a T. Mm -hmm. I'm dead, bro. I'm fucking dead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Um, aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. <clears throat> well... <laughs> trying to get her attention. It's not working. <laughs> and what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Uh, first one. You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Okay, make me forget. Oh. She asks that I tell you to remember her. How could I forget her? Oh, 
That is perfect. <laughs> I'm going to save this. Escape. Oh my god. What the actual fuck? Everything goes dark and you die. You said you were never going to forget her, but she told you you're going to forget her anyways. <laughs> yeah, but I remember her. You remember her? Right here, my, right here, my noggin. Right in your noggin? Damn, in yeah, your I'm noggin, sure but not in your heart? I'm sure Rule 34 remembers her. Oh, Rule 34 will. Rule 34 never forgets. But, right here on a path in the woods. Stop. is where I am going to, is where I'm going to pause this. And in the basement of yeah, because it is already is past four o'clock. And there you go. Look at that. We have made it don't to say, the... Uh... Don't say there you go like it's something normal. This was fucking... What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> don't worry. It'll feel more normal for you over time. 